are located conveniently at 4259 South Florida Avenue, Lakeland, Florida, directly behind CC's Pizza. I am Sister Adrian, And I am Sister Nita. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And these are our weekly announcements. This month of October, this is our Pastor Appreciation. Give me a word of encouragement, and that means a lot. 
to know that I can call you. I don't have to call the deacon or the elder. I love you. I love you. I love you. And come and see me soon. Amen. Praise the Lord, Sister Simone. Now we have something special from Sister Brianna. Praise the Lord, Pastor Brown. From for those who don't know us, from it skip, it skip, jip. It's been a long road coming, 32 years. But I thank the Lord for placing you in my life, for still guiding me and keeping me straight in my walk with Jesus. You've kept me strong and and kept me encouraged, and I appreciate you for encouraging me, my family as well, my immediate family, my far family. I just want you to know you are love. I think you know that, and it's the truth. I really appreciate you and love you forever, and I hope you feel appreciated here in this month, your appreciation month, which you are well deserving. And again, I love you, and I hope it's a great month for you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sister Brianna. And these are all affirmations from our PATH department, along with Sister Brianna. Pastor Brown, we just want to say to you that we love you. We thank God for you. We pray that God continues to use you and bless you tremendously in this ministry. And as we go forth, we celebrate you. Happy Pastor's Appreciation Month. Have a blessed day. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Pastor Brown. This is from the PAP department along with Sister Brianna. We wanted to show you love today for everything you do. We are all so happy to be a part of this board and super excited for what God has in store for you. We celebrate you today, tomorrow, and all month long, all year long. Happy Pastor's Appreciation Day, Pastor Brown. We love you. that for they think I'm singing a solo. <laughs> Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So I have been um, blessed and honored to be asked to do pray, prayer and scripture. Cut. There we go. We get that feedback off. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I say I'm not a professional because I don't even know where to stand to get that feedback off. Let me first say because that was amazing and I know that uh, everybody gets tired of hearing Sister Adria and Sister Nita uh, speak about pastor appreciation and mostly of what you hear is money. Money, 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 money. Give them money, give them money, give them money. Which, again, like he preaches, when you bless him, you get a pastor's reward. But if you take two minutes to do a video, I bet you he was in the back crying. That touches him. That's so important for your leader to know that you love him, that you trust the words that are coming out of his mouth because you know they're coming from God directly to him, to us. So I truly, truly encourage you, if it's not financial, verbally, let him know how much you love him, how much you care about him, and what impact he's made in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to come to your building today, to your
your sanctuary, dear Lord, to give you praise, to give you glory, and to give you honor, Father. For those that are online, I thank you and praise you for waking them up this morning. For though they can't, we can't see them, we know that they're there, and they're listening, and they're also embracing the spirit that's coming from this ministry through the airlines into their homes. And we thank you and praise you for being there for us at all times. And although we take you for granted from time to time, your grace and your mercy is so abound that it rests in our hearts and it gives us peace when we need it. And I just thank you and praise you for the word that will come today that will feed us, that will be abundantly supplied to us willingly because you want us to be able to live our daily lives in your image. I just thank you and praise you and I give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' precious name. So my scripture today is John 4, 1 through 8. And I'm going to read it through the New Revised Standard Version, but it's John 4, 1 through 8. The pastor teaches us that our lives are not our own. We're not here on this earth for us and what we want to glorify us. We're here for the Lord. We're here to be a symbol to those that are on this earth that do not know Jesus, who Jesus is. Our daily walk should represent Jesus, to represent God. And the conflict that we have is very simple. It's the flesh versus the spirit. And he teaches that all the time flesh versus the spirit. So John 4, 1. Those conflicts and disputes among you, where do they come from? Do they not come from your cravings that you are at war within yourself? You want something and do not have it, so you commit murder. And you covet something and cannot obtain it. So you engage in disputes and conflicts. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly in order to spend what you get on your pleasures. Adulterers, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world because it becomes an enemy of God. Or do you suppose that it is for nothing that the scripture says God yearns jealousy for the spirit that he has made to dwell in us? But he gives all the more grace. Therefore, it says God opposes the proud but gives grace in to the humble submit yourselves therefore to God resist the devil and he will flee from you part a of B, uh, part a of verse 8 draw near to God and he will draw near to you so while I have this mic and this blessing my final statement to you is I implore you to think about who's winning the battle in your life on a daily, hourly, minute-to-minute -minute basis. Is it the flesh or is it the spirit? If you can, every night before you go to bed, take inventory of your day and look back and say, man, did I live this life today? God or did I live it for me and you do that enough and you have a willingness enough to be better than who you are 
right now through God, you'll do that on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. So as things happen in your life, you'll look back and say, oh man, did I do that for God or did I do that for me? And I promise you, the more you find that that answer is that it's for God, the better your life will be. So God bless to the seers, the hearers, and to ultimately the doers of the word of God because he is amazing and he loves us and we should love him the same. Thank you. morning. Hallelujah, because he is worthy. Come on and clap those hands. Hallelujah. I need everyone in the house to give to God. Hallelujah, you serve. Hallelujah, a joyful praise. Come on, clap up. Come on and lift your hands and wave them. Come on. Lord is good. Come on. Hallelujah. Will you praise him this morning? Come on. Yeah. This song simply say, oh, give thanks, thanks unto, unto the Lord, for he is
Lift your hands and cry out. Thank you, God. 
God, but he is able. Hallelujah. How many of you all know that he is able? Hallelujah. To do all things. Hallelujah. That you ask of him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands. Hallelujah unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's just think on the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. And have faith in God. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Exceedingly and abundantly According to his power that worketh in you, in you, God's able to do just what he said he will do. He's going to fulfill every promise. He won't give up on you. He's able. Hallelujah. He's able. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone cry out, God is able. God is able to do just what he said. Yes. And he's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill. Yes. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Because he won.
we're going to ask you to stand up on your feet. We're going to take you, take you back. Hallelujah. To some foundation songs. We thank Hallelujah. God for where we came from. Amen. And where we are. Amen. And we're going to take you back now memory lane. Amen. You know the words of the song. Just chime in and help us out. Amen. Amen. Well, we have not come to entertain, but we came to lift up Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. That's the least higher that I can do. Jesus, hallelujah.
Clap your hands and give our God a mighty hand to pray. Come on, stand on your feet. I give you praise. Hallelujah. The least that I can do is give you praise. Call it, I like that. I like that. I give you praise. That's the least I can do is to honor him, is to praise him and to magnify his name. Listen, I'm going to ask you all today, those know that are here. In the back, turn your lights up all the way. Just turn the house lights on too. I can see. Hey, good Jesus. Amen. God is a good God. Uh, praise the Lord for those old songs of uh, uh, that sister code. Those are the songs that we remember that brought us, brought us thus far. And some of us act like we done forgot them. <laughs> but those were the songs amen somebody thank you Jesus help us get to where we're at now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I want you to just to focus your mind just to get your mind on Jesus some of you have been struggling backwards and forwards since you've been here and listen to me those that are listening to me on Facebook YouTube Zoom Whatever you might be viewing this uh, service today on, we're coming right into your living room. We're coming into your car. Whether you're in Africa, Japan, wherever you may be in the world, we come into you in the mighty name of Jesus. And those that are here that are listening, hallelujah, that are in the sanctuary, clap your hands and give our God, give our God. Because you're here. You already been blessed because he blessed you to come from your home or wherever you came from this morning to be here. You blessed already. I already know that you're blessed. You know you're blessed. You know you're blessed, Mom. Come on, Mama. Do you know you're blessed? Thank you, Jesus Christ. Now, listen. I, I just feel blessed. I am. To, to be honest with you, when I first came this this morning, I was so sleepy. I was trying to figure out why I was so sleepy this morning. I was so sleepy this morning. Amen. But after I got back there in the office and began to worship and praise the Lord and begin to lift him up back there, oh, just the Lord looked like he just refreshed me. Anybody know what refreshing feel like? You feel good, don't you? feel good when you're refreshing. Amen, somebody. And I just feel so good in the spirit. I feel so good that God was doing something special for his people today. I've been ministering to you all for the last couple of months, talking about the giant, the three giants. And we talked about the COVID-19 and Delta and also the, the last enemy was death talked about him. Amen, somebody. I want you all to stay tuned today. We talked about a lot of things that the Lord has been giving to me as we prepare to move to the front line of this revival. The revival is, is already started and it's a world revival. Thank you, Jesus. And while it's going on, Satan's going to be kicking dust because he's angry and he's very mad. He's very angry and he the Bible say he is the accuser of the brethren, where that he accused you both day and night, he around the clock, he accusing you for what things coming out of your mouth. So watch what you say in the name of Jesus. Amen. Get to Jesus so that you can receive everything that God has for you. I'm excited and being here, like I said, and I thank God again for the appreciation. This is an appreciation month that they are actually having for me. Oh my goodness, clap your hands and give our God a mighty hand praise. 
Hallelujah. An appreciation for me. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for everything that I, I've seen, I heard this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. You look like y'all really putting it together. I've been getting phone calls. I've been getting text messages. Uh, people just calling me all over the place and just telling me that they love me. I said, wow. I, and, and, and I don't say it back then. I say, you, you do? You do? <laughs> Hallelujah. I kind of believe it. You know, a person tell you they love you enough, you'll just believe it anyways, amen? But it's different. This is different. And when they saying that they love you now, different ones say it, I kind of, I can feel a little something. Y'all know what I'm talking about? You feel something. You start to respond to what they are saying. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I thank you. I thank you. I thank all of you in the name of Jesus. Those that are watching me on Facebook that maybe might be a part of this too. Hallelujah. Thank God for you too. Now we're just waiting. And today we've been blessed, amen, to have with us a dear, dear brother and friend. He's a brother and he's a friend. I just want him to come just to testify. Just on Wednesday night, we had such a glorious time in listening to the testimony. Amen. Sister Adrian, I know you're here. We didn't get we didn't record that on Facebook. And there's others that had a testimony and they're not here, but those testimonies, the scripture say, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb, and by the words of their testimony. We heard testimonies on Wednesday night and also today. I believe we're going to do a testimony today. Our elder is here, and I'd like for him to just to say something. He's been coming for a minute. Amen. And we like, we old school. <laughs> Hallelujah. And it, it's Elder Willie. James Pope. We got the first part, the last, first part of our name. I'm Willie James, and he was Willie James. Isn't that something? This is my brother that continuing to pray for me. He's continuing to lift me up. He continued. I needed somebody. I needed somebody. Thank God for Elder Willie James Pope. He is here. In the mighty name of Jesus, and at this time, you, you that are listening, I, listen, I, I don't want you all to sit down yet. Just stand as he come and hallelujah, just to give God thanks and to give him praise for him being here. Ella Willie, come at this time and those that are listening to me on, on Facebook, hallelujah. You too, those that are listening to me around the world, listen to me. God got a special blessing here today for you, even in the testimonies that you hear. Listen, in the name of Jesus, listen to me. Listen to me. Come, Elder Will, at this time. Clap your hands and praise the Lord for him. Though the psalms keep on raging in my life, though sometimes it's hard to tell the night, from deep Still that holds the light A real show As I keep my eyes upon this the show I know he leaves me safe That blood But it
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your greater faith. Thank you, Jesus Christ. It is such a blessing, amen, to be here today. I've been coming for a while, sitting in the back, absorbing and enjoying and worshiping the Lord. It's one thing I noticed in reading scripture. Apostle Paul would often give his testimony. And I think sometimes preachers, they neglect to testify what God has done for them. We are so engaged in the preaching aspect that we don't take the time to remember where the Lord brought us from. For me, it's been 54 years that the Lord changed my life. 14 years old, the Lord did a marvelous thing in my life. The journey has not always been easy, but it has always been good. Good because the Lord never left me, never forsook me. He's been good to me. This being Pastor's Appreciation Month, I thought it'd be robbery if I didn't acknowledge Pastor Brown, my longtime brother. We came up in a little, a little town, a little black community called Mohead. It don't exist anymore. Matter of fact, when they got rid of it, they got rid of it. All the houses and all the graves, they got rid of everything. But the Lord had a plan. I knew him in Mohead. We weren't close, but I knew him. The Lord had a plan. 1967. Amen. The Lord decided to send his word my way. 1258 North Dakota Avenue, Lakeland, Florida. Dakota back then was made of red bricks. It wasn't the most comfortable road to ride on, but it was well known in our community. The Lord saved me that year. I remember it well. That year, the Lord began to do something to me. I wasn't required to go to church all the time, but sometimes. And while going on those Bible study nights, something began to happen. Just a little lad. Didn't understand it, but there was something moving in, inside of me. I began to have this longing. I saw the saints of God rejoicing and praising God shouting and I want to feel what they were feeling going to church and just listening and had this urge down in my soul July the 4th 1967 during that time Bryant Stadium was the place that every July the 4th they had the fireworks going and all the neighborhood kids would go out to Bryant Stadium to watch the fireworks. So I'm not going to say mother, but mama came and said, son, you're going to the fireworks? I said, no, mom, I'm going to church. 14. She said, hmm? I said, I'm going to church. You don't want no ma'am, I'm going to church. I had to be to church that night. When we got there, at that time it was Elder Ross, not Bishop Ross. He was teaching, and he was teaching too long. I'm at the edge of my seat, say, hurry up, Bishop. That time we had the altar. I needed to get down there on the edge of my seat. And finally, he said, let everybody stand. Everybody want to be prayed for, just come down. But wouldn't you know it, I felt like I was standing in some quicksand. My feet just wouldn't move. 
but I know I need to get down there. And there was a fight to come up from between those pews to get to the altar. And when the Lord gave me enough strength to step out and make my way down there, wouldn't you know it? It was full from corner to corner, shoulder to shoulder, no room for me. At that moment, I felt so dejected, but I knew I couldn't go back to my seat. I felt if I got back to that seat, then I would miss something for a lifetime. But there was no room for me. I couldn't kneel at the pew. I had to be on the altar. So slowly I turned around to go back to where I didn't want to go. Just like Jesus, the other hand touched me on my right shoulder. And when I turned to see who it was, it was Mother Watkins. At that time, it was Sister Watkins. She was young then, and I was a boy. She said, you can have my face. Don't you know I felt joy in my soul? There was a space at the altar just for me. And when I kneeled down there, happy and grateful that I had a space on the altar. But the enemy didn't stop. He came around again. Preacher, you remember back in those days we had those, every night you see a cockroach run across the floor. That night he decided to land on me. Normally I'll be up doing the backstroke trying to get him off me. But that night I didn't move. I just did a couple of swipes. He was gone. I was waiting for him to wheel up here and cross the mold. But he didn't. And I say, Hallelujah. Back in those days, the altar works, as we used to call them, they are waiting to Bishop Elder Ross got to praying for folk. Then they'll step in. Hallelujah. We had different types of altar workers. We had the one that was very excitable, the one that talked real loud in your ear. Hmm. The one that clapped real loud in your ear. They meant well, but there was a distraction. But there was one sister, Sister Minnie Gary, skilled around the altar. She came and said, just told me, just called him. See, back in those days, that's what we did. We just called Jesus. But God gave her a little bit more than some of the other ones had. She watched you and saw how you responded. Then she would say what it really took to get saved. You can call Jesus all day long, but if you don't believe it, you're not getting nothing. She would say, just believe him. Hallelujah. She didn't scream. She didn't shout. She didn't yell. Just believe him. Hallelujah. July the 4th, I got on the altar and I started calling on Jesus. July the 6th, I was baptized in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. September the 21st, I confessed that I had the Holy Ghost speaking with tongues. But between July the 4th and September 21, hallelujah, calling, I missed about four nights from going and calling him. I'm testifying. Don't, don't mind. I, I'm just going to tell you how it was. Hallelujah. Knees got raw. Every night I'm on my knees calling Jesus. I know that some folk, it don't make no sense. Hallelujah. But I begin to feel something happening inside of my body. Movements that I didn't control. Calling on their name and hallelujah, my body just began to move. My mama came to my bedroom door because I would go home after school and go in my bedroom and Meditate on Jesus. She say, son. I said, ma'am. She say, do you feel the power of God on you? I said, yes, ma'am. Do you believe him? I said, yes, ma'am. 
She said, when you go to church tonight, just listen. Hallelujah. And walked away. Turned around and left me standing in the bedroom door. I closed the door and the light came on. When she said, listen, I knew then what she would tell me to do. I was so focused on crying, calling Jesus. I wasn't listening to what the Lord had already done. I knew then that the tongues had been there for a while. I was so focused on Jesus, I believed him. But when she said, listen, hallelujah, Jesus, it was done on a Thursday night. Elder Ross went to the National Convention. He left Elder Ross, came back Bishop Ross. But when he got back, I was Holy Ghost field. Hallelujah, Jesus. A year later, there's a little fella, he's over Moorhead. Y'all know him. They called him by his play name. Everybody knew him by his play name. A year later, on that same corner, 1258 North Dakota Avenue, Lord sent a little boy, Chubby. Chubby came to refuge. Chubby came to 1258 North Dakota Avenue. That's him over there. When he came, he wasn't shaving. When he came, he had jet black hair. Oh, Lord, God had a plan. But the time, between the time God brought him to refuge, he had a tumultuous journey to get to where he is now. I was there. So I, I took a scan around the edifice to see, is there anybody here that have known him longer than I have? I don't think so. Hallelujah. I saw his pain. I saw his struggle. I saw the enemy trying to take him out over and over and over again. I saw the enemy take folk that supposed to love him and hold him tight. Hallelujah, Jesus. But God had a plan. Weapons from every side trying to stop him. But it says somewhere over in the scripture, no weapon for him or against you shall prosper. The battle is not yours, but the battle belongs to the Lord. I was there. I saw how the Lord brought him. My mama's house became a safe haven for him. Hallelujah. We sat to the same table countless times. Hallelujah. Eating homemade hamburgers, marinated in light bread. I don't know if it was sun meat or what, but we had a, hallelujah, we had our feast. The Lord brought it together. This is what you call Pastor's Appreciation Month. Just a little more time if y'all don't mind. Hallelujah. I saw the struggle. We look for Chubby here in the church on the piano organ just hours and hours and hours. So much of the, his fingers start to, you know, kind of, you know, they weren't straight. They kind of stick up in the air when they stretch them out. Because he spent so much time. That was his dedication. But he never was out of place. He wasn't a preacher, but he was always around. Praying all night long. He wasn't a preacher, but he was there. Hallelujah, Jesus. Laying out on the floor, talking to Jesus. 
praying and, and praying and then praying some more. God had a plan. Hallelujah. And he's been around, I suppose, in the late 60s, age-wise, not year. That's the equivalent of what? About 24,000 days of life. If he's 67, 68, that means he's been living about 24,000 days. That's all. That's not a long time. But in that time, look at what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. They counted him out. They didn't think he'll, can I just tell the truth? They didn't think he'll amount to nothing. That's just chubby. He didn't run around expiring to be a preacher. But God had his hands on him. Oh. Started out in the house. West Memorial Boulevard. Hallelujah. Crystal Lake, Beacon, and now here. I wasn't there in all those places, but I knew where he was. Look at what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Look at what the Lord has done. God had a plan to raise up a man that will love his people. God has a plan. It is not done yet. God is still about doing some things. God is still about bringing some folk in to his house. Upon this rock, he said, I'll build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord has done and is doing in this house. I didn't come to praise the man. I came to praise the God in the man. But having said that, I will honor the man of God. And I keep him on the altar of my heart. Wake up four day in the morning and sit on the side of the bed and start talking to Jesus. Wake up four day in the morning, two, three in the morning, get down on my knees and start talking to Jesus. I'm not just talking about the pastor when I'm calling out the saints' name that go where? That goes to Greater Faith Temple. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because the Lord is about something. He's about something. His will is still unfolding. His will is still being done. Folks still being saved. Folks still being healed. Devils being cast out. This is the Lord's work. And it's marvelous in our eyes. Amen.
the Lord. Clap those hands and give out God. You know, everything that Elder Pope said is just so true. I could I couldn't hold back those tears. And because it's true. It is true. He just started. He told y'all just a little bit. And I know that he's going to come back again. By the grace of God. Amen. No one can tell that story like Elder Willie James Pope just did. Clap your hands and say hallelujah. And because he's been there all the time. You know, there's a song that we used to sing back in the day. I believe I heard a little bit before I come in. I was in the office and I had it. It said that they said I would make it. They said I wouldn't be here today. Do anything. But I'm glad to say that I'm on my way. You know this song? Day. Let's just go through this part. I'm still, I'm still holding on. They said I would never mount up to anything, but, but I'm still. How many of y'all still holding on no matter what they say? Hallelujah. And I'll never, I'll never let go of his hand. You know, I thank God for Jesus. That devil is the devil. He's a real He's a real devil. He would fight you all the way until the end. But you got to hold on to Jesus. No matter what happens, what comes, you got to continue to hold on to him. Thank you, Elder Willie Pope. Thank you so much for those words. I feel encouraged today. I really do. I really feel like I could just keep right on going now. In Jesus' name, amen. Now listen to me, I won't be just for but a moment and because I feel through the testimony that he has given, hallelujah, for me, bless you and it bless me in Jesus' name. But listen, I'm going to tell you a couple of things what, what you need to do and to make it and to be happy in the Lord and to get your prayers answered. How many of y'all need your prayers answered? You want your prayers answered? You want God to really to answer you. Well, let me help you out. If you listen to me, I can help you. God has shown me in the last two years since the pandemic in March, I believe started 2020, and have shown me some things in I can never see before. And I know in order to to communicate with this God and to know him that you, you it's a certain way it's a certain approach you have to come you can't come to him any kind of way you have to come to him broken and sometimes it's hard for us to break Hallelujah. but it's the brokenness when you can break when you can break and begin to call on the name of the Lord and and you begin to just cry out to him. No, 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 no. He won't pass you by. The song says, pass me not, O gentle sin. Yeah, hear my humble cry. Hear my humble cry. Calling 
do not pass me by. I'm crying, say, Savior, say, hear my humble cry, hear my humble cry. While all others thou art gone, do not pass me by. Lord, don't pass your people by today. They are here. Don't pass them by. <laughs> they call it you, Jesus. 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 Hear our humble cry. Hear us today, Lord. Hear those that are listening to me on Facebook, YouTube, and around the world. Listen to me. Let me help you. I can. I can really help you because of what God has done for me. The testimony that I have. No one has it but me. It's how God delivers you. It's how he does it. He does it so that he can get the glory. The way God delivers us out of hell and the things that, hallelujah, where it didn't look like you were going to make it. It looked like you were just, you was down for the count. And some really had counted you out. Even doctors have said and have given you time. They said that you would just live a certain time. Somebody listening to me. There's two, there's three, there's four, there's so many people who are listening to me. The Lord would have me to speak to you today. Listen to me. I'm going to say it just as calm as I can say it. I want you to know this God. The God that I serve is God. He's the real deal. He's real. I don't have to make up anything. I don't have to strain at him. All I have to do is just call him and believe him. I believe him. I'll never go back. I could never go back. No matter what the devil do, even if I wanted to go back. some of you he fixed some of you hallelujah he predestinated some no matter what you do he got you fixed so that you can make heaven and how many of you that are listening to me today that's the main goal line is heaven it's heaven what are we here for you're here to live this life and to be strengthened from one to the other and to keep strong in the Lord so that you can endure this race that you're running. Truly, it's a race. And it's how you run it. And some of us are running raggedy. Hallelujah. Some are running that it looked like there's no hope and looked like God would just give up on us and because of the way that we're running have nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. When God allowed you to come into this world, you was in his mind, you was in his heart. The Bible says he have chosen in himself. He have chosen within himself before he created anything, the, the earth, the heavens, the, the universe. Hallelujah. Before he created anything. Thank you, Jesus. He thought about you. How much you mean to God is you. <laughs> Every one of you. He knew you by name before there was a name even thought of. Hallelujah. Even before, hallelujah, Adam and Eve. Even 
before the angels that are ascending and descending. You was in his heart and he chosen you. Hallelujah. Some was backsliders and some was homemongers, some was liars. They were all kind, but he chosen them. He even chosen a guy that I'd heard about down through the years. Called his name Paul. And Paul on the road to Damascus, he he got knocked off of a horse because God was calling him. God wanted to deal with him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And at that time, they called him by the name of Saul. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And he didn't know what was happening to him. Hallelujah. He didn't know Paul, Saul, didn't know what was going on with him. Thank you, Jesus. But he was, he was persecuting the church, the saints. He was having them beheaded. They were, their head was being, you, who? Paul, he did this. Thank you, Jesus. But he was anointed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He was an anointed vessel. Hallelujah. Didn't look like it. It's because of the things that he did and his reputation. It looked like he was belongs to God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He, he plays a role. Even the other apostles, they didn't understand who Paul was until, thank you, Jesus, and Paul was healing and doing miracles. They didn't know who he was. But God, before there was a when, a where, a then, a there. God had his hand on Paul. Somebody clap your hand because he got his hands on you. Just even as he had his hands on Paul, he got his hand on you. You don't look like nothing, but you everything in the eyes of God. You everything. Thank you, Jesus. You don't look like you qualify. You don't look like you have the qualification, qualification, hallelujah, to be anything, to do anything great. You don't have the education. You haven't went to, went to college. Some of you don't even have a diploma. But our God said, hallelujah, I'll raise you up. I'll put my word in you that man can't put in you. I'll anoint you. No one, no man can anoint you like this God. Thank you, Jesus. He holds what we call space. 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 He holds everything in his hand. Hallelujah. We just don't know the, the depths. Oh, my goodness. Jesus, his greatness is beyond our imagination. We don't have no capacity in our hearts and our minds that we can hold of Jesus. And the little problem that we think that we got, that he can't solve it, he already solved it. It's already solved. He knew what he was doing when he went to Calvary. He knew it was a plan from Genesis to the book of Revelation. He wrote the book, signed it, and sealed it, and delivered it to us through Jesus Christ. Clap your hands and give him the praise. Clap your hands and give him. Clap your hands and give Jesus Christ the praise. Somebody's going to be blessed today. Somebody's going to be healed today. Somebody's going to be delivered because those that don't know him, let me introduce to you. Hallelujah. And those that haven't been, that are acquainted with him, and, and you already know him, but you don't know him. 
Hallelujah. Some of you baptized in water in the name of Jesus. Some are baptized in the Holy Ghost. And you have the Spirit of God in you. You got life. You got healing right there in you. You got to tap into what's in you. He that is in you is greater than your problem. He that is in you is greater than any anything that can come against you. No weapon that has been formed against you can prosper. It's because God is in you. How do you wake up this big, great God that is already in you? How do you do this? Some of you all got joy when you got saved and filled with the Spirit. Got, got the Holy Ghost, but you stopped right there. You didn't go any further. You didn't never graduate. You didn't never, hallelujah, find out the deep things about God. And the only way that you can do it, you have to do it in the Spirit. Because to be carnally mind is there. A carnal mind is enmity against God. It's not subject unto the mind, nor to the will of God when you got to call the flesh flesh don't profit nothing you got to know how to get into the realms of the spirit that's where you got to live cause God he is a spirit <laughs> where is God where is he no you don't see is he he's here you should feel his presence that's the reason of worship. That's the reason of praise is to create the atmosphere so that God can anoint and bless his people. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Listen, let me give you this scripture. God is the spirit. They that worship him, there's no other way that you can worship God but in spirit. That's the only way. That's the only contact that you got with God is in the spirit. Don't let the enemy steal your blessing by, hallelujah, you're not having the understanding of God and understand how he operate with his people and with the saints. He, 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 he operates with us through his word. His word is spirit. See, you, 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 you have to... When you hear the word, when you hear it, you, when you hear it, listen to me. Listen to me, Facebook. When you hear it, you can, you, you got to hold it, grab it, hold it, Ooh, and you got to receive it. Thank you, Jesus. And once you do that, it act, activates what's in you. It's the word already in you. He told his disciples, this is what Jesus said. He said, if I go not away, then the comforter, God sent us the comforter to keep us and to strengthen us. He said, if I go not away, then the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, he won't come. He can't come to you. He said it is speedily that I will go. I must get away. Thank you, Jesus. I must go back unto the Father. I must go back to heaven and so that I can send what you need forever. Forever. For your healing, for your delivering. I'm going to send what you need forever. Not just in this life, but also in the life to come. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And that's what you want to hold on to. That's what you want to embrace. You want to hold on to what God said to, so that you can, you can lean. Hallelujah. You can lean on the promises. You don't have the word. You can lean on everything that God said to you. You can lean. You can rest this year to know that your prayers is being answered. Listen to me. God is a spirit. They that worship him. This is most important than anything that we are ever hear in our life is to know how to communicate with God. This is the reason why one have to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit so that, so that you can have that relationship with him. 
You can't have a relationship with someone that you're not joined in or joined together. The Holy Spirit makes it so that you you can hook up with God in heaven and you can talk direct to God. Isn't that, ooh, isn't that a blessing? The Lord told the woman at the well, he said there would be a time that would come that, hallelujah, that you wouldn't have to worship God in this mountain, but but they that worship the Lord must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now, I want to give you this. This is important. It's because when y'all leave here today, this is life-changing, life-changing. Grasp the hold to what I'm saying to your heart. The scripture say, he that has an ear. Then let, no, you say, I heard this before. No, you ain't heard this before. Listen, there's something that you need to get that you didn't get the last time you thought you heard. No, it's different. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's different. It's because in those two years in the closet, God spoke to me and he talked to me concerning his people. And I understand some of them can't really hear. Hallelujah. Not spiritually hear. The scripture say, he that has an ear, then let him hear. What the spirit, you need to hear what the spirit is saying. What is the spirit saying to you? Hallelujah. Not what nobody talking about. No, 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 no. What is the spirit is saying? Hallelujah. Notice also in your prayer life and in, in your, your, your prayer language, in Let's notice there, Romans chapter 8, verse 26, real fast. They go in there real quick, and we're going to read it real quick. And I want you to see this verse. It says, likewise, the Spirit also, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It says, likewise, not Johnny, not Bishop, not Apostle. See, what is God? God is a Spirit. How do you worship him in spirit? How do you tap into God? I need to talk to Jesus. I need to talk to someone who can help me. Look at my situation. Hallelujah. Some things are out of your hand. And some things seem to look like they're out of control. But it say, likewise, the spirit also helping our infirmities. It say, for we know not what we should pray for. Do you really know what you should be praying for? And some of you praying for certain things that, hallelujah, you shouldn't even be uttering. I'll just say it out of your mouth. You just, you're just saying how you feel. You don't really know. It's hard for you to just to express yourself unto God when you're just praying out loud and just praying. But when the Spirit is in you, when the Spirit is in you, when the Spirit is in you, you can communicate with God for yourself. You can talk direct to God. Hallelujah. What a blessing to talk. Look, you might have not been able to, you know, Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston and a lot of these other entertainers and uh, an Oprah that are, you Maybe you'll never meet them to talk to them. I uh, met Michael Jackson, but, but Jesus, the creator of the whole universe, the, the world, and hallelujah, all of us that are here, hallelujah, God created all of us for his glory. You can talk to him. You'll never talk to some of the millionaires and billionaires and some you won't never talk, get a chance to talk to is because the level they put themselves on. They pride for because of what they got and you could never get to them. But this God on them. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and the world and they that dwell bear in everything. Even you belongs to him. And say, so likewise, the spirit also happened our infirmity. For we know not what we should pray for. What are you praying for? You, you don't know. Look at the scripture. Get your mind out of you. You can't. Be caught on the mind. Don't be caught on. 
You got to be spiritual to receive what God has already done for you. They say pray for you as we ought, but the Spirit itself make it. <laughs> See, when they thought I wasn't going to make it, they thought I wasn't going to be here today, the Spirit make it intercession. Oh, those that, that, that counted me out, say, no, he's no good. He, he this, he that. He that. Say what you will. I just called Jesus. Kept calling Jesus. I kept speaking in those tongues. I kept Didn't know, hallelujah. A lot of times I was in doubt, but the Spirit, but the Spirit had me. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan say death, but God said in the spirit, life. He'll live. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Satan said death to Job. But God said life. Knock everything else out. Knock it out. Knock that out. Knock. Yeah, take his children, take his family, take, take, take all his possession and all of these things. But don't mess with his life. <laughs> See, some of you all don't realize that God got you. No, you don't. You, you don't. you don't know it yet. Listen to me. Those that are out here on Facebook, listen to me. God is a spirit. You want to know him, you have to worship him. You got to realize that he's in the room. See, I acknowledge. I can feel his presence. Yes, 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 yes. He fills the room with his presence. Can I see him? No! But I know he's here. How do you know? It's because he's working. He's working in me. He's doing something for me. Hallelujah. Everything is working out for my good. Doesn't matter what it is. The Spirit is going to pray for me. Pray for me. Hallelujah. When once the Spirit tap into the depths of your soul, it taps into you those things that you can't utter. Hallelujah. It says that for it says it pray for us with the Spirit itself making intercession for us with groaning, which cannot be uttered. Hallelujah. It's the Spirit. Elder, you hear that? Will, you don't use it. It's the Spirit. <laughs> you remember us when you received on that Thursday night? You remember when God spoke through you? You remember prophesying in the Spirit of God the same anointing, the same power as they receive on the day of Pentecost. Jesus told them to go wait there. In, hallelujah. In the upper room. Go there and wait until you be endowed with power. Until you get it. Don't you move. Stay there until you receive it. You received it. No, it wasn't on that day, the same day that they got it. But later on in life, you got the same identical thing that Jesus said that, hallelujah, that I won't leave you comfortless, hallelujah, but I'll send the comforter. I'll send him to you. You got the comforter and he's to keep you forever. So when you down and out, you're hurting and you pain and pain Jesus said and he overcome the world he said he overcome so we can overcome because the same spirit that was in Jesus dwelling in you it's in you it's in me it's in every believer under the sound of my voice that means when you start to talk to God in the spirit you start to talk it in the realms of the spirit and you leave earth. You, some of y'all done been all in heaven. 
talking to God and don't even realize the Spirit took you there. Thank you, Jesus. The Spirit make it intercession for you according unto the will of God. What is the will of God? God knows what he designed for you. Notice it said in that next verse, he that, come on, search the heart. And he that search what? The heart. Uh-huh. Know what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. I had a subject, and I, I believe we're going to put that up there. It said, what was it? You can only please God in the Spirit. All right, I want y'all to take that with you. I'll be back. <laughs> Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. I'm so full. Let's read just a little bit from that verse where you were at. Let's read on down a little bit more. And then I'm about to close it. Listen, y'all hold on. Y'all hold on. Y'all want to contact this God? How many of y'all got the Holy Ghost talking in trouble? Let's see your hand. Let's see your hand. Come on, let's see your hand. Y'all know, you, do y'all realize what you got? Why y'all feel defeated? You got everything that you need in this life. According as his divine power has given unto us all things. Already, you already got it. You don't have to go and get it. You don't have to, Hallelujah. All you have to do is just believe, receive what God done, have already done. Listen to what it said. And we know that all things work together. Repeat that again. And we know that all things work together. What you say. And we know all things work together. Uh-huh. For good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. For whom he did foreknow, and moreover, who? Stay right there, the 29. For whom he did foreknow. He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Listen, the scriptures say for all things works together, <laughs> for everything, everything is working out for your good. That's the good, the bad, and the pandemic, and everything that could happen, it doesn't matter. It's going to work out for your good. Hallelujah. You're going to be so happy when you get into, get to heaven. The Lord let you review just to see, hallelujah, the reason why you had to go through some things. And, then, and hallelujah, you didn't realize the reason why. Hallelujah. You can't compare the things that, hallelujah, what we're going through to what God is about to do for you. What's going to happen in heaven, you can't even compare. Your blessing is greater than what you can imagine. Hold on. Hold on. Let the weak say you're strong. Y'all that are weak, say it anyway. Let the weak say you're strong. Come on, Colin. Let the weak say you're strong. Come on, Colin. Colin, Colin. Say you're strong. Thank you, Jesus.
some issues, you're having some hard time, but that's okay. That's okay. At the end of the day, you're going to be right where God wants you to be. Hallelujah. You got the scripture say, let the weak say you're strong anyhow. Say what God say, say. Say what he say. I will trust and you trust him. Trust him. How many of y'all would trust him? Come on, stand on your feet all over now. now. Come on. Everybody stand up. get a special offering today. How many of you will give me a special offering without me requesting? I'm not going to request it. I, want, I just want, this is, listen, God doing something for you. Don't worry about your finances. Don't worry about nothing. Get into the spirit. Let God talk through you. Let the Holy Ghost go. The spirit will pray through you, for you, and for every situation, things that you can't see things you don't even know about is working out for you. Obey the prophet. Those that are listening to me on Facebook, YouTube, listen to me. These are the instructions. This is what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm trying to help you listen to me. Hallelujah. It's on the LED stream with the way that you can give. You see it there. Those that would like the cash app it, go right ahead right now that are listening to me. If you want to be a blessing, not just unto this hallelujah body here, hallelujah, to this part of the body of Christ here at the Greater Faith Temple Church, but hallelujah, being a blessing here, you'll be a blessing to us. There'll be a blessing around the world to take this gospel to hallelujah, homes around the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is the healer. He's the deliverer. If you need a special blessing today, just stretch your hands out right there. As Even with your tithes and offering, take that tithe, take that offering, just stretch it out there. And as I pray over it in the name of Jesus, you all start to cash app it in the way that you want to like to give. Give in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. I thank you in the name of Jesus. These are your people. They come to you in your presence. Hallelujah. 
God, I ask you for special blessings, special miracle for that one that is watching me. Those that need special healing and deliverance right now. Do something, Lord. Show them your power. Show them that anointing, that same anointing was yesterday, is today. That you haven't changed. You're still the same as you was. Yesterday, today, and forever. Bless your people now as they hold this tithe, this offering up before you. Father, we thank you for this tithe, this offering, this special gift. We ask you now that you would bless it, sanctify, consecrate it in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And as I have asked you, you said to freely give in the same way that they freely give today. Let them freely receive the blessing that you have promised in your word. I rebuke that thing. I rebuke death. I rebuke death. There's a, a spirit of death that I'm looking at and I know who you are. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that thing. Now you go. I command you I leave. That's it. That's it. You can't. You, you, you. Listen, I have the authority of God's word to bind you, Satan. Angel of death, I leave. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody clap your hands and say hallelujah. All the praise and the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Go right ahead and start cash apping your, your tithes, your offering, in Jesus' name. Ah, those that would like to give here to have an offering, you all. Did they bring it up? Yeah. 